Tonight in Run With The Beard, we're reviewing Radis Big Box. I know what you're thinking. That's not a very big box. That's a big box. Here we have the table set up and ready to play for a three player game of Rattus. The whole goal of the game is to populate the board as much as possible with your own characters. And you'll also be moving uh, this dreaded plague doctor around and laying rat um, plague chips on other locations trying to eliminate the other players. Um, when players are eliminated though, they just go back into your supplies. So don't worry, there's no player elimination, uh, but you can still feel that sting when somebody starts flipping over these tokens, killing off your men that you worked so hard to get on these locations. The first step of a player's turn is the action phase. Players will choose one of the locations on the map and they will put a number of their meeples equal to the number of plague chips there. For instance, uh, here in Hungary, there is one chip so I can put one of my meeples. Now had there have been two plague chips there, I could have put two of my meeples. In addition to doing this, players also can take these character cards. Kind of think maybe Citadel's the board game kind of vibe. Uh, you can take one of these character cards and they give you special abilities. You can either take them from the supply or from other characters. These allow you to do fantastic things and really uh, mitigate the, the pace of the game. And once players are done adding meeples to the board, they then move the Plague Doctor to one adjacent space under most normal rules. And if there's any Plague Chips there, they will flip them and resolve them one at a time. I'll flip over this token here, and this is saying if there are at least two people here, which there are, then a shield, a lion, and a farmer were to perish. Now if I had any of these characters here, say the farmer, I would lose one of my people. And then this token would go away, and then we would add another token uh, to an adjacent spot here. Maybe I'll put it down there, targeting the green player. And play will continue clockwise around the table until one player has placed their last maple or the plague token supply has ran out. And then there's one final round going counterclockwise. Everyone, except for the player who triggered the end, gets one final turn, but they can only activate the cards that they have in front of them. So that is Radis Big Box. I love this game. It is fantastic. It will likely be one of my top 10 of 2023. Um, to be honest, I am glad I never played the original Radis and had only experienced this big box. Uh, for one, the updated art. Uh, I believe the original one had just little cubes instead of your meeples, and the meeples come in two different sculpts, a male and a female kind of unnecessary but a nice little touch the components are fantastic everything all the wooden pieces are great uh, and there's quite a bit of them um, all the card quality is fine on everything they all shuffle well but I'm glad I didn't play the original one and I'll tell you why because the game is so simple it is good and it's elegant and it's very to the point it's still satisfying but this big box some of the expansions that come in the big box really bring the game up from in my opinion like a 6.5 or 7 to knock it up to a 9. it is some of these expansions i would say like the universities is almost a must that you play with because it adds this extra element of area control that's moving throughout a game where you're just trying to pepper the board with your players and it really gives the players uh something else to think of because you get a point each time um, you flip these event cards. There's an event deck that goes along with the universities, I believe. And uh, this event deck really adds a lot to the game because you can start picking up points um, because at the end of the game, you just tally how many of your people you have out on the board and whoever has the most wins. Um, but being able to score these one point here, one point there throughout the game really changes the whole dynamic of the game while you're playing it. And it really changes the outcome at the end. Um, but the, the amount of content that is inside this smallish big box, so to speak, is awesome. There's just so much you can cater to just about anyone's kind of taste. Say someone isn't a real big fan of area control, you can kind of, you know, um, go through the deck of characters and pick out characters that are maybe a little less aggressive, so to speak. Um, yes, there is quite a bit of luck involved, um, but Again, I feel like you can cater the game to the crowd's taste uh, by choosing certain characters and removing other characters uh, that will kind of steer gameplay in a confrontational, less confrontational, luck, more ways to mitigate luck. Um, but with that being said though, at the end of the day, you are moving um, a Plague Doctor around on the board, flipping over chips. And if you happen to have those character cards that are listed on the chips, your people die. But I mean, that's kind of on you. You got greedy and chose these characters. 
yes, they do amazing things for you and really help you out, but you're also putting a big target on your back when the Plague Doctor does come to town and start flipping over the Plague Token tips. So that's on you. So long story short, the art is fantastic, the components are amazing, the gameplay is fantastic. You guessed it, fantastic. This one is definitely going in the Beards collection, making a home for it, and look forward to playing it much more. And if you found this episode informative or entertaining at all, please consider clicking that subscribe button and comment down below. Let me know if you think if you played uh, Radis Big Box or, you know, if you just think the Merlin Big Box is way better because it's five times the size. Um, please leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching our episode of Rowan with the Beard.